Hello, welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must travel before you die. I'm still here in my garden in lockdown, but I've changed position to get the best sunlight. You can see the trees in the background here. It's very nice, very nice little scene. And I've got a nice beer here. This is from England, but it's a beer I thought I'd never get to review. I thought I'd have to substitute it, but this is a sort of substitute, but it's not, which is great. So this was a beer that was no longer brewed when I got the book. And I thought, no, I'm going to have to find something else from the brewer. And the beer itself was from a brewery that got bought out by Fuller's. Uh, it's from Gales. Uh, and then Fuller's were brewing it, and then they just stopped brewing it. But luckily, another brewer in the UK bought the recipe and barrel-aged their version of that in different things. So I've got one of those barrel-aged versions. So hopefully this should be even better than the one they originally did. So the first brewed circa 1920s. It was 9%, but this one I've got uh, is 10.6%, and it is Gale's Prize Old Ale. Now, it says George Gale & Co, Prize Old Ale, bourbon barrel aged, but this is done by Marble Brewery from Manchester. They have got the, uh, it says Prize Old Ale, brewed in collaboration with Fuller's as part of our 20th birthday collaboration series. Uh, it says how to store it, but so they, the fillers don't actually make it anymore, but they allowed marble to make it in various bottle condition version, and it looks lovely. It looks. What's quite funny is the bottle in the in the book. This looks like a much better label. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's like classic, real classic, big blocky typing. Um, George Gale and Co. That's great. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, and the story should be exactly the same. Taste note should be more or less on on the money. So let's let's pour it out and let's see what we've got. Let's see what Marvel have done with Gail's recipe. Don't think it's bottle conditioned. It is bottle conditioned. Pour slowly to leave any sediment in the bottle. Okay. Now I like an old ale. I've never had a bourbon barrel aged old ale before, so this will be interesting. Okay, leave a bit of sediment in the bottle there. Leave that just to sit for a bit. Let's let's have a look. So we've had a look at the bottle, which is beautiful. Very, very nice. Uh, well done, Marble, for that. Tasty notes. Dark reddish brown. Nose hints at cherry brandy with subtle hints for gers like softness. In the background, on the palate, a sherry-like richness before a sharp, sweet, grapefruit-like character emerges. Lambic, gers and aged barley wine in one glass. Okay, that sounds delicious. Not like the old ale I, I would predict. Old ales are normally like a more malty affair. Uh, and this one is bourbon barrel aged. So hopefully it's going to have all of those characteristics. But that bourbon taste as well is going to be very, very exciting. So let's have a look at the, the glass. Uh, it is almost uh, sort of black, but it's got almost a, uh, like a Coca-Cola type um, colour to it. Uh, that kind of, um, yeah. And then it's got this, the, this nice white head. Uh, there are, I did manage to not get all the sediment. There's a bit of sediment in there, but that's okay. That's all part of the fun. So let's go for the smell. It has got all the things it says. So it has got, it smells a bit cherryish, and it does smell like girls. This is very exciting because I love a sour beer. But I've never had a sour old ale, which is very, very nice. So let's go for the taste. Cheers. Wow. That is delicious. That is really nice. It does not taste like 10.6. Um, I'm getting I'm getting very much that kind of um, sweet grapefruity, almost like a bit of cherry actually, um, taste. And I'm getting so much like lambic and gers. And uh, this is the most like, sour lambic gers like beer I've ever had from England, uh, from the book anyway. That is really nicely done. Uh, it's amazing they've even done that. It is like a barley wine, but like a sour one. Uh, but it's if you if if you've been given a bottle of like an old ale here, and you opened it and it tastes like this, you probably wouldn't you wouldn't be expecting it. You might think it was off. But reading the tasting notes, knowing it should be like that, means I'm like, okay, this is what it should be like. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, really nice. I'm getting a bit of smoky and peatiness from the barrel aging, from the bourbon barrel aging, but bourbon obviously is a sweeter whiskey anyway. That is lovely. That is a really smooth beer. Marble have done a fantastic job with this beer. I'm um, just looking at the book. It says 
Before the closure of Gales in 2005, its prized old ale was one of the diamonds in the brewing crown of England. A strong dark barley wine improved with age. I've had this bottle for about probably like a eight months, I would have thought. So it's, it's probably got a bit better with age. Uh, but um, so it was a beer that had a three hour boil. Most beers only get 90 minutes and was matured for six months at the brewery in bottle conditions. Gales closed, it's been bought by London Brewer Fuller's. Uh, the beer got brought back to life in 2007. Uh, much I to say about it because the other stuff is about what it was like at Fuller's. Obviously, Marble have done their own their own take on it, but it, it, according to taste notes, this is very faithful to the original recipe and just with that, that sort of that barrel aging, that is really good. And just not what I was expecting from an old ale at all. It's just smooth and like it's got that kind of the bourbon. Barrel aging kind of adds to that kind of cherry like flavour to add this kind of it's almost a rich taste to it. Um, that just sort of lingers in the mouth, and you're like, mm, I want a bit more now. Um, the cause it's not out and out sour, it's just like that's like slight sour edge that kind of you have with some lambic beers, especially if you have like a cherry creek or something. It's got it's got like a little bit of cherryness in it and it's got that bourbon edge and it's got that kind of it's like a combination of kind of a, a traditional British ale mixed with a Belgian beer and then you barrel age it with bourbon. It's a wonderful, wonderful mix of flavours. Uh, that is an absolute classic beer and I hope Marble will make more of them because they had other ones like there's bourbon age. I think there was um, I can't remember the other ones were, were aged with now but I thought bourbon sounded like the most interesting one. So I went for that one, and I like the colour. The colour match with the uh, the colour of the bottle in the book. Uh, very nice. Oh, this one actually. So packaged September two thousand seventeen. So this has been sitting around now, uh, going on um, a year and a half. It's got. I, I can't imagine it got better with age, uh, but very good. So I'll leave that leave that there. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another beer review very very soon.